So you want to put away a little bit of money. You figure you go to the bank, you put the money in the bank, maybe you make a bit extra, but that money that you've already paid tax on, you're going to pay tax again on anything you earn at the bank. Well, that discourages savings, that discourages investment. So a few years ago, Prime Minister Stephen Harper and his government put forward an idea of the tax-free savings account, TEFSAs they're called. Well, the limit at the time was $5,000. That's grown to $5,500 and there's talk of doubling it to $11,000. And the idea is you grow some of your money while you're saving to buy a, a cottage or a second car, go on a vacation, maybe save for the kids' school. You can use it for whatever you want. You're going to get a bit of a break on the taxes that you would otherwise pay on any money you earn in that account. Everyone launched this as a great idea, a great way to encourage savings. But as they're talking about doubling it now, two reports out. One from the parliamentary budget officer, the other from the left-wing think tank, the Broadbent Institute, saying this is a bad idea. First, the parliamentary budget office on Tuesday coming out and saying this is going to cost the government billions decades from now. Over time, as the room for TFSA increases, Certainly the cost will also increase and we are estimating that uh, by 2080 uh, this, uh, the cost will, uh, will essentially be tenfold in terms of GDP. That's right. They are now projecting what the federal budget will be in the year 2080. This loses all credibility. There's no way that you can project what the state of the Canadian economy will be, how large the population will be in the year 2080. So saying that this is going to cost us $25 billion in 2080, oh, that's just a fiction. They don't like it, fine. I don't expect that from the Parliamentary Budget Office, but I do expect it from the Broadband Institute, worried that this is just going to help the rich. Increasing or doubling the limits to it is going to have very disproportionate uh, benefit to very high earners and wealth holders. It's going to affect middle earners and low earners because to make up those revenues either taxes will have to be increased or vital public services will be curtailed. And of course with the Broadband Institute named for former NDP leader Ed Broadbent disliking it, well you can be sure that the actual NDP in the Commons is against this as well. Two reports out today show the government's plan to double TFSA limits will cost tens of billions of dollars and yet benefit only the wealthiest Canadians. Well, surprise, Does this, this sound at all familiar to anybody? Taking from everybody to help the wealthiest few. Do these troubling new reports give this finance minister any pause? Or is he really so hell-bent on finding new ways to give tax breaks to the wealthy and the well-connected? Now, let's put together some facts on does it disproportionately help the rich? Is this giving away taxpayers' money from the middle class to the wealthy? No. Some facts on who actually pays income tax in this country. The top 1% that we always hear about from the Occupy types overwhelmingly pay a disproportionate amount of their taxes. The top 1% of Canada's 25.5 million tax filers accounted for 10.6% of Canada's total reported income in the year 2010. That same top 1% paid 21.2% of the total federal and provincial income taxes. The top 10% of income earners paid 54.8% of all taxes. And the bottom 50%, they paid just 4% of all income tax collected in Canada. So the idea that the rich are not paying their fair share is nothing but bunk. But the left doesn't mind, they're going to keep peddling this because they don't like you keeping your own money or anyone else keeping their own money. Now, is it just the rich that's using the tax-free savings account? Not according to the government's own statistics. It's their program. They have to monitor this. What are the facts on that? Let me give you some. 11 million Canadians, or nearly 11 million Canadians, have a tax-free savings account. In 2013, 75% of all TFSA holders earned less than $70,000 a year. Nearly 700,000 seniors have a tax-free savings account and they earn less than 22,000 and they're still using a TEFSA. And nearly half of all TFSA account holders earn less than $42,000 in a year. 
But you know what, for middle income people, for people making at or about what the average Canadian earns in a year, which is roughly $47,000 for a full-time working Canadian, well, this is a perfect vehicle to be able to save for that second car, to be able to save for the family vacation, because that, that little bit of income, of interest that you get, that 4%, that 5%, maybe you get 10% of it, you invest in the right thing and you have a great year. Well, that little bit doesn't get taxed, but the left is upset about that. They want you, they want you to pay tax on that because they see all money as government money and you just get to keep the leftovers. I want to leave you with something from Jonathan Chevro. He's the editor at Money Sense magazine and he wrote a piece for McLean's explaining that even if the wealthy do max out their tax-free savings account more than anybody else, it's staggering how much money you have to make just to max out at the point it's at now. From his article, those contributing to the tax-free savings account have already paid their fair share of tax when they earned the income to come up with the TFSA contribution. Someone in the 46% tax bracket wishing to contribute $5,000 to a TFSA first has to generate earned income of $9,259 paying almost half in income tax. Think about that for a minute. You've already paid half of the income, 46%. You had to pay to earn the 5,000. You had to earn over $9,000 to get that 5,000. You put it in the bank, you earn a little bit, and the left says, no, you still owe them more. That's because progressives, as I said, don't think it's your money. The next time somebody says that this is a bad idea, ask them, whose money is it anyway? They likely don't have a good answer.